Despite these precautions, many people say they are fearful following the mass shootings, calling on the similarities of the demographics between the areas of El Paso and here, and the anti-immigrant sentiment behind the gunmen's motives. As CBS 4's Abril Preciado explains, many living along the U.S.-Mexico border are now on high alert. It's devastating to see that, you know, the split between our, our country is in this manner. A split that has many like Belinda Bradford, assistant director at Good Neighbor Settlements House in Brownsville, on edge. Following Saturday's mass shooting in El Paso. Just for anyone to walk in and randomly start shooting, that's a really scary thought to me because, you know, it's like, what are we going to do? Bradford, who oversees a humanitarian respite center at the nonprofit, says they receive dozens of refugees every day coming from Central American countries, along with helping the homeless population. The majority are of Hispanic origin. She says the El Paso shooting raises some safety concerns here. You never know what will trigger an individual to do that, but um, I feel that uh, and I pray that that doesn't happen here in Brownsville. And respite centers aren't the only ones. The El Paso shooter's anti-immigrant remarks first reported by the Associated Press is also raising fear in the community and our neighbors south of the border. What are your thoughts about the massacre that occurred in El Paso yesterday? Pues casi por lo regular cada 15 días. She says she crosses from Matamoros to Brownsville every 15 days. But after the shooting in El Paso, she says it has raised some concern. Ahora con esto que, que pasa. After this happened, it has brought fear. And we are constantly going to be on alert because you never know if something that tragic will happen here. Reporting in Brownsville with complete Valley coverage, Abril Preciado, CBS4 Valley this weekend.